a medium of exchange, a unit of account, portable, durable, divisible, fungible, and a store of value. These are the seven characteristics of money. It just so happens that gold and silver match these characteristics flawlessly. After learning about just how amazing gold and silver are as a means of trade, it is easy to fall in love with stacking. It's easy to fall in love with your stack. Is that a problem? Recently, I sold 15 silver eagles to my LCS. Before the sale, I ran into an unexpected problem. I didn't want to sell my eagles. As a matter of fact, I hated the idea of parting with my silver. Now, I go into detail about why and how that transaction went down in a separate video. If you are interested in the details of that story, I'll link that video in the pinned comment. At the end of the day, I parted ways with 15 ounces of my precious silver, and it left me with an unsettling feeling. Why is that? Is that a good or a bad thing? After all, I like to keep a stack of cash around for when I see something I want and it's an in-person purchase, or in case of an emergency. But I don't feel any attachment to the fiat. I spend cash just like anyone else. I know I can't be the only one that feels a difference in parting ways with metals versus fiat. Now, it is worth mentioning that I have some silver and gold that will never leave my possession. These are the gifts and collectibles that mean much more to me than the value of their weight. If I'm being completely honest, acquiring collectibles on my list is much more exciting than picking up buffaloes or 10 ounce bars that are just more ounces to be added to the stack. Now, with that being said, those boring rounds and bars are incredibly important to me. Deep down, I am a collector at heart, and this may be a disadvantage for me. We stack to protect our purchasing power. Precious metals are a life raft when the ship starts to sink. But being so attached to our stack could be a disadvantage when push comes to shove. Some people stack for an SHTF situation. Some stack in preparation for a currency collapse. Others stack as a way of saving, investing, or simply passing wealth to the next generation. These are all great reasons to have a safe full of ounces. But the idea is to stack with an end result in mind. After all, we can't take it with us. I see it all the time. Stackers are constantly saying that they will never sell or trade their metals. To be completely transparent, I feel the same way. I do have an exit strategy, but I feel an attachment to my gold and silver. Let's face it, there is something truly special about holding gold and silver in your hand and being able to call it your own. In my opinion, this is an important and overlooked topic, and I know with certainty that this is an area that I need to grow in. I'm very interested to see where you guys stand with this topic. Please, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. On your way down, make sure you freeze that like button. Also, don't forget, if you see any gold and silver products in this video that you like, you can find them in the Amazon affiliate links in the description of this video. Now that we have talked about my unhealthy attachment to my gold and silver, check out this video. I go over all the collectible silver that I picked up in 2022. I even touch on the secret silver that I plan to pick up in 2023. There is some amazing silver in this video. You won't want to miss it. I'll see you there.